Hi, everyone. Brent Wessler with Kodak Alaris. Uh, today, I'm going to go through a quick demonstration of an invoice that has uncommon fields. So as you can see here on the screen, I'm in the Form Recognizer Studio, which is now called the Document Intelligence uh, Framework for Azure. I'm going to go into the invoices pre-built and I'm going to grab a sample image. Now, I've set this up on purpose. So in the case of something like a purchase order number, for instance, as you can see here, there is no PO number here. However, we do have this word customer reference, right? So the difficulty is, um, as you can see, if I go through all the fields, you don't see PO number here, but you do see highlighted in yellow customer reference. So Azure's clearly um, finding that on its OCR layer. So what we do on the info input side, <clears throat> we'll open up a sample here and on info input, we will select the Microsoft pre-built Azure invoice. But in the mappings, what we'll do is we can control the output of that particular field. So by default, Azure is going to bring back all of these fields and one of them is purchase order. But as you see here, Azure's not picking that up correctly. So what we can do is actually leverage what we call an advanced match type. And if we open up this string here, you can see some of the different references, in this case, customer ref. Okay, now in our case, there's actually a colon after. So if you go all the way over here, we have customer ref and then the colon. So essentially, we get the OCR layer back from Azure using the pre-built, which we want to use because it's less expensive and it paginates for table rows uh, to multiple pages or multiple following pages. But we need the ability to actually pick up certain label pairs. So in this particular case, as you can see, we're using this uh, customer reference and we're placing it in the PO number field. So if we were to now scan and capture, come in here, Scan and capture, so I'll create a new batch. I will select the advanced mapping. I'm going to select that one. And we'll process. And now our job is ready. And as you can see here, it picked up a PO number, customer reference with the zoom to zone snippet correctly. So the point here is, even when there's customized fields um, in situations that you have multi-language, um, multi-currency, where some of the typical key value pairs and labels are different, you can leverage the advanced mapping tools within Info Input to really interrogate any data. Thanks for watching today. Please like and join and look out for our next post next week. Thank you.